Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and I don't know about your country but my country Ireland is still in lockdown which means I think we should just watch a little TV together you know enjoy a little home time. So what I picked to watch was Ireland's answer to Gordon Ramsay at your service. It's not a show I've watched before but I've seen clips of it and I, I thought it'd be fun to experience it together <laughs> because we've had some good experiences watching Irish TV before. Nobody wanted to get their hands on Jude's bull semen. I just hope I don't get sued by the entire nation of Ireland for stealing all their TV and uploading it to YouTube but let's not think about that for now. Let's watch two middle-aged men ride into a nice song on bicycles. Oh, I feel upbeat. I can almost see them through the pixels. <laughs> okay, it's fixed. So these are our main characters. You probably can't see them right now because they're in camouflage, but you'll see them soon. Okay, that's cultural appropriation. I, maybe I should skip the little intro. Now, this is a first, Emily. The two Brenner brothers in the bed with you. Skip! Skip! Oh my god, look at that house! That's the house they're gonna be doing up? It's amazing! It's actually the house where the devil appeared and played cards. Okay, that's not as amazing. What? <laughs> Wait, can we look into this? Can you not just brush over that? It's like, the, my house is actually quite famous because it's it's the exact house that the devil appeared and was playing cards in. Anyway, let's go. You can't just gloss over that. We gotta know more. Oh my god, there's a lot of info on this. Uh, let's see, ghost stories, okay. On the Irish TV show, At Your Service, the devil was discovered and released from his earthly chains. No, I made that up, sorry. <laughs> just wanted it to be more exciting than it actually is. During a storm, a ship on unexpectedly arrived at the Hook Peninsula, where the mansion was located. A young man was welcomed into the mansion, Anne and the young man became very close. But one night, the family and the mysterious man were in the game room playing cards. In the game, each player received three cards, apart from Anne, who was only dealt two by the mystery man. A butler serving the Tottenham family at the table was just about to question the man when Anne bent down to pick another card from the floor which she must have dropped. It is said that when Anne bent over to pick up the card, she looked beneath the table to see that the mysterious man had a cloven foot. <laughs> I was expecting this to be a, a bit more scary. It was then that Anne stood up and said to the man, you have a cloven foot, and the man went up through the roof, leaving behind a large hole in the ceiling. What was that story? The roof of Ireland's most haunted house has now been restored. Oh, they restored the roof. Okay. So now the devil can't come back in the way he got out. They've upgraded in a haunted house, a cafe, visitor center, and walled gardens isn't enough. They made it into a haunted house? Really? <laughs> I, I think you could have made it into a cool little restaurant, a cafe, and like a historical thing rather than, you know, just, ooh, a spooky house. How are you? Hello, welcome to Office Hall. All right, here are our heroes ready to fix up the house. I just throw a splash of paint on her and open for business. Oh my god, look at that chair, it's destroyed. Ah, come on now, gang. If the man with the cloven foot knew what you were doing, he'd feckin' be back. Good thing you repaired that ceiling. What is a cloven foot? Hold on. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it means like three, three toes, but I, I just gotta make sure. All right, so there you go. That's what his foot looked like before, you know, he shot up through the ceiling. I still don't really understand the whole story. <laughs> Like, it seemed like he was there for a long time, and only then they realized that he had the, the cloven foot. Did they not hear him, like, clip-clopping all over the house? Now, this was remodeled in 1872 by Lady Jane. Oh, they did a great job. I love the boards on the windows. It's a lovely touch. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I think I see the patch that the devil went up through. What are they gonna do with this house? I can't imagine them putting in enough money to actually fix up the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, this is a bit cheesy. Like, like, do you see what I mean? Just show me the thing. Don't, like, <laughs> make it all dramatic. Lady, the house dropped a card. Oh, he's explaining. I know this story already. I'm well informed on this topic. And she got an awful fright, as you can imagine. As you can imagine. <laughs> oh, poor oh, yeah, Jacob. <laughs> wants to go glamping in a place like this. It's Ireland. You'd be out in the rain and the place doesn't look very nice. I'd rather stay in the, the room with the, the cloven foot guy. <laughs> what would possess you to do the garden? Well, I don't know. Just like that? Yeah. And there's no financial return? No. And spent all the money? Yeah. Yeah, that is a good point. They went and did, like, the garden and the glamping and everything when there's, like, probably a million euro worth of stuff to do on the house. It's a bit strange. It's like, oh, Jesus, those boarded windows could do it replacing, but, you know, it'd look nice. A, a, a few daffodils or something down there. Now, we'll plant a few daffodils. We'll get some glamping tents outside. <laughs> it seems like they're doing anything to procrastinate. I want to live in a place like this. That would be so cool. Except, you know, with, like, super fast broadband and, the, the, like, everything fixed and everything. And also, like, 
I don't know, maybe a thousand euro a month or something would be doable. The final thing on the Brennan's checklist is to introduce a brand new ghost tour. Which will a new ghost tour? I don't... You see, like, that that place is cool. Leave it like that. Like, genuine. I want that. I don't want, like, cheesy skeletons jumping out like, bleh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I want genuine stuff. It would look cool. I think this house is so feckin' wasted. It's a damn shame. They should give it to me. I'd make it into a gaming house. <laughs> and we'd all play games like esports and stuff. Except for the fact, you know, it's Ireland and we'd have one megabyte broadband. But... It was pointed out quite rightly by Francis and John. People coming here, they don't know what it is. It's just a car park. It's a good point. There is literally no signs telling you what this is. And both are working hard to get the glamping area ready for business. Feck off with the glamping. <laughs> That's not what you need. Oh my God, he's obsessed with glamping. With the glamping raring to go, Aiden and Carol take their first booking. Oh, yes. And spells disaster for them. Oh, no. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Go on, tell us what happened. No easy way to... Oh, no, they died, didn't they? So this is the last wheelbarrow out of this one. Oh, no. I don't want to be judgmental or anything, but... Oh, that's sad. I couldn't drink that in a month. We've had... Jesus Christ. I thought it would be like the guests going, just we couldn't sleep. Sure, there was there was noise and, and there was this and that and they kept coming in and telling us about the cloven foot gentleman. <laughs> There's a hole in the roof, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't want them to ruin their glamping area. Ba bad. <laughs> oh, of course. Wait, I figured it out. It's the Canadians. You see that? They left a clue. <laughs> Damn Canadians. <laughs> if there's one thing the Irish hate, it's Canadians. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Please don't unsubscribe if you're Canadian. We, we like you but we don't see you often you don't really come here you know it just it wouldn't kill you to swing by once in a while and the various amount of spirit bottles wine pizzas um it's actually quite a feat <laughs> if it was a challenge they really met it well <laughs> he's kind of impressed he's like i'm annoyed because you ruined my uh, my tent but at the same time Fair play. <laughs> like, that's impressive. I couldn't drink that in a month. Ah, you could. Don't be so hard on yourself. Come on, you can do anything if you set your mind to it. We didn't manage this well. We being the royal plural, it's mine. I don't know about I that. Like, I, I get he's kind of blaming himself. I think he's being hard on himself. Like, these people were obviously nasty to do this. Like, fair enough if you want to, you know what? Go out in a tent and get hammered if that's what you want to do. But clean after yourself for feck's sake. I feel bad for them. Oh, god damn it. I've never wanted glamping to work as bad as I wanted to work now. Is there any way of twisting their arm or are they just sick of it? I said to them, would not give it another go because they were just unfortunate. They said no, that they were out of the business and they were going to take the loss and run. Oh. Oh, they gave up on the glamping. That's so sad. I do think it's for the best, though. The, the glamping is, I don't know, not, not such a good idea. But I feel bad. <laughs> the storm did a good bit of damage around here. Oh, no. Come on. Give them a break. <laughs> Please. I'm starting to think that Devil's story was true, and now he's pissed that his hole in the ceiling was repaired. And he can't get back in. <gasps> I've been there. It's not, it's not great. Don't, don't go there. It's the, the Guinness place in Dublin there. The Guinness Museum or Guinness Distillery. Uh, Guinness! <laughs> it, it was kind of boring. You, there was a lot of reading and that's kind of it. There was a fish though on a, on a bicycle. That was kind of cool. <laughs> this is such a weird connection. This business has nothing to do with theirs. It's lovely and fresh and it's... It's open. Yeah, it's lovely. A lack of glamping though. Like where, where is... Where is the glamping? What's their next thing? I can't read your handwriting. It's like a doctor's handwriting. Pond garden? Is that what it was? P paid garden tour? <laughs> is that it? What are they planning? I couldn't... Oh, yeah, it is garden. Okay, yeah, it's, it's garden tours. Okay, paid garden tours. I love that this guy wears a high vis jacket no matter what he's doing. I think he just wants to be noticed that he's putting in the work. I think that's it. You know what? I think it's actually a good idea to wear high vis jackets no matter what. I remember when I went to court because, um, you know, if you didn't realize, I'm actually very, very brave. I got hit by a car as a pedestrian and I went to, to court over it and the, the the guy who hit me his like lawyer <laughs> was saying to me you were wearing a, a high vis jacket i imagine given that it was getting quite late and no i was coming out of the cinema <laughs> i don't think the people in there would be very happy if i was wearing a high vis jacket <laughs> so he's he's one step ahead of the game he's ready to get hit by a car kevin life tip all must be ready oh wait what what's happened now oh for feck's sake it's the storm isn't it what happened here well, it was a little bit of a disaster, but... I uh, look, it, it's not that bad, to be fair. Like, the grates fell off. On the disaster scale of, like, your house blowing down, 
and getting a free trampoline because it just blew into your garden. It's somewhere in the middle, like, it's not that bad. It's pretty repairable. Put on your hive is jacket and just bolt it back up there. It got tested everywhere, so yeah. anything that's alive deserves to be alive. Yeah, right. That's kind of inspiring. <laughs> anything that's alive deserves to be alive. He's taking them to Coakley Wall Gardens nearby, who charge... <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess he's trying to motivate them, but they have a deadline. They want to get this place ready by Halloween. He keeps taking them on walks and tours in different counties and all this. They're probably like, please, just give me my hive is jacket. I want to get to work. Those are nice gardens, to be fair. I'll tell you what's a nice garden in Ireland. If you're ever in Ireland, I just go off on tangents. If you're ever in Ireland, Blarney Castle, they've lovely gardens and they have the most deadly plant known to Ireland, marijuana. It's so funny because there's like poisonous plants, like literal poison. If you eat them, they will kill you. And then next to it, there's a big cage with like one bit of marijuana growing in the ground like this big. Good morning. Good morning, Francis. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I always find it so funny in TV shows when they're out there just, he's just raking. It's like, oh Jesus, fancy running into you here with the cameraman and you just happen to be raking the gravel. God, that's wild. What are the odds? <laughs> you don't have much time left, buddy. You gotta fix up this house. We're through 18 and a half minutes. You've six minutes left to fix up this Loftus Hall. How do you protect the, the garden from people? We put giant cages around the marijuana. <laughs> First up, the new reception area. Well, hello there. Hello, Francis. Good How to be you? back. God, fancy seeing you here with the cameraman. <laughs> what a coincidence. Oh, I love that in TV shows. Oh my God, this is going to be spooky. This is the room where Lady Anne spent the next 10 years of her life. And during that time, she only really did one thing. Sit in the corner and rock back and forth, back and forth. Okay, this is good. Yeah, this this is good. They've done it right now. It's less cheesy. It's like a little actual tour telling the story. And Carol's trump card. Oh no! Now they're they're doing that scanning thing. All right. Oh god, look at that. They're looking for water. They're doing this for the gardens. They're worried about drought. Even she's like, this is ridiculous. And this is her own ghost tour. I really enjoyed every moment of it. That's great. Look at that smile. It's all worth it for that smile, wasn't it? And as for the new garden tour, Aiden and Carol haven't quite got round to finding a guide. So. Guess who is stepping up to the plate? What? No, that's not a solution. Like, he's only here for, like, 20 minutes. He can't be doing the garden tours all the time. So if you don't want to weed the garden, yes. do you like weeding? No, I don't. Do you like weeding? She just turns around and she's like, 420. Let's smoke one up right now. Success all round. Sees what? Francis going Was it, though? Home, smiling, not scared. I don't... Did they accomplish anything? The two Brenner brothers in the bed with you. Francis, John, you have some answers to give us here. Like, you came in, installed some new signage, their glamping failed, you were like, oh, you should do something with the garden at some stage. And you took the ghost tour, and that was kind of it. Like, they gave them some nice common sense ideas, but like, I, 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 want, I want more, like, evidence that it actually helped. They just brought in a few people and were like, do you like this now? Is this good? And they were like, oh yeah, this was lovely. And that's it. That's their proof that they fixed it. No. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 not Squarespace. This video isn't even sponsored by them. They have never sponsored me. Go back. I'm trying to look at their website. <laughs> like, look at that. This house is feckin' cool. Like, I love it. I actually want to go visit there now. <laughs> I guess if nothing else, even if they just gave them minor help, like, it's good publicity. Like, I want to see the place now. I'd love to run around in there, do a few laps, you know? Put on my little clove feet <laughs> cosplay items and just click-clack my way all over the upper floors. <laughs> all right, well, I guess that's the end of that. That's some more Irish TV explored for you. I do have a few other items that I want to, um, that I want to watch. I don't know why I call them items. <laughs> hey, you want to watch some items on Netflix with me? <laughs> no, but... But, uh, I do have some other stuff that I want to watch if you're interested in some more Irish TV. Uh, so do let me know if you enjoyed. I would love to know. Um, but I appreciate you watching, folks. I do hope you enjoyed. And maybe we can all go visit Loftus Hall together someday. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you again for watching. I hope to see you next time. But uh, that's about it. Bye for now.